Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today, I'm going to share with you my nighttime skincare routine. I'm doing this video because I changed some of the products that I used from my last video of my nighttime skincare routine. And if you haven't watched that video, I'm going to leave the link in the description box below if you want to check that out. And I want to thank everyone of you for su supporting this channel. I am now a thousand subscribers and yeah, thank you to all of you. So yeah, let's get started. The first thing I do if ever I have a makeup on, I take out my makeup using the Maybelline Lip Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. This is how it looks like with a cotton ball or a cotton pad, whichever ever you prefer. And then after I take out all my makeup, I jump into the shower and have my bath. And the one I'm using for my face is the Provamed Acne Clear Cleansing Gel. It's for oil control and reduce inflammation gentle acne treatment cleanser it is clinically proven for sensitive skin this is how it looks like as you can see it's almost gone because i use this every night and also in the morning when i wake up i like this because of its consistency it's a gel like consistency and i know some people like a foamy consistency which is also fine but i do prefer this kind of consistency and I like the fact that it is for sensitive skin as I do have a sensitive skin. And I do like um, getting products that are for acne prone skin. Maybe because for me, even if I don't get a lot of acne, I want to prevent them. So I usually get products that are acne prone for acne prone. So after I use that cleanser, I jump out of the shower the first thing i i do is my toner the one i'm using right now is the userine ultra sensitive toner this is how it looks like so just now that i jump out of the shower i'm going to use this toner i usually use this with a cotton ball i do like large cotton balls so, yeah. I like this because it is good for sensitive skin but I know there are a lot of um, cheaper or it or just okay toner but sometimes when I use other kinds of toner, my face tends to get so red. I know it might be an irritation or what, but this toner is for sensitive skin, so it is kind of safe. And I like it because they don't have this smell. Because you know what, there are some toners that they really get this smell, which sometimes it's overpowering smell, so I don't like it. But this one got no smell at all so that's what also one of the reason why i like it so after i use my toner the second thing i do is to put an eye cream the one i'm using and i'm still using this is also shown in my previous video this is the Pons i age miracle eye cream and i'm still finishing this tube so yeah as as if you watch actually my last video i said that eye cream tends to last longer because we, we really need a tiny amount so you just need to put it around your eyes next after eye cream I put my if ever I do got spots 
I use the proper mat, the acne retinol A gel, and the acne spot gel. This is just um, it depends on which which uh, part of the face you have acne. This one is for the U zone, and this one is for the T zone. You already see this as well in my previous video, and this is one of my holy grail because um, it really does cure spots so I always have it like in my bag wherever I go so right now I got a very tiny spot on my chin like over here and probably a little bit on my cheek On this side and also on the other side I do usually get pimples like over here or most of the time on my chin and then after I put my my Prova Med I use the Vaseline lip therapy rosy lips for soft pink lips I like this to put like every morning and every night because I tend to get dry lips I don't know if it's just because of the wet weather but I don't think so I really do get dry lips wherever I go so so this is like one of my essentials to have a lip balm Next, after my lip balm, I put the Trilogy Certified Organic Rose Hip Oil. This is how it looks like. So, I'm still finishing this as well. You can see in my previous video that I'm, I used this um, rose hip oil and I tend to like it because it doesn't give me any irritation and it's very moisturizing I only put like three drops on my face usually on my forehead and on my cheeks and I just spread it using my fingers if you got really like very very dry skin you can put this in the morning and at night but I usually just put it every night I don't put it anymore in the morning so yeah so after that the last step I do is to put hand cream I'm using the Nivea hand cream anti-age Q10 plus this is how it look like actually hand cream for me I usually use it like every single night like every single night and it lasts for a long time because some hand cream I only need like like this amount to spread on my my palm some hand cream is very sticky but this one I like because doesn't give you that stickiness so yeah I recommend this this one if ever you also got dry skin and yeah i hope you like this video and i hope you enjoyed it i hope you get a few tips and i hope that some of the products that i use maybe may maybe they have it in your location or i'm sorry or unfortunately if they don't have it in your location maybe they have it on their website so yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe for more videos and i hope to see you soon thank you bye